June 1st is Okay, and where are you right now? Uh, UCLA Medical Center. Ed Rojas is on the mend at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. Just a few days ago, Ed suffered a life-threatening stroke. He was able to answer questions and stuff, but it wasn't in his voice, and his eyes were, and pupils were like fixed and dilated. And in a few minutes, he went from being uh, relatively normal with only minor symptoms to suddenly becoming comatose and unresponsive. How old? 68. Stroke is the number one cause of serious long-term adult disability in the U.S. <laughs> and it is the fourth leading cause of death. A stroke happens when damage or a clot in an artery in the brain blocks blood flow and oxygen. Time is everything. Every minute, some two million brain cells will die, and they don't grow back. It can be devastating. A third of patients are dead six months after their stroke, and uh, more than three quarters of the remainder are unable to return to work. They have weakness, they have trouble with their vision, they have trouble with their language. Uh, it is both a killer and a crippler, so anything we can do to uh, improve the treatment is a major step forward. Ed was rushed into the interventional catheterization lab where doctors at UCLA employed a new technology called Solitaire. It was tested at UCLA and just approved by the FDA. With the solitaire device, doctors thread a thin catheter through the groin and into the blocked artery in the brain. The solitaire device, a type of delicate metal stent, is then deployed through the catheter and through the clot itself. The device expands and blood flow is restored. The clot is ensnared by the device, pulled back through the artery, and they come out of the brain and body together. This way, and then over this way. In the uh, pivotal trial that UCLA helped to run uh, across the country, the solitaire device greatly outperformed the prior generation of devices. The arteries were reopened three times as often, the death rate was cut in half from stroke patients, and the rate of good outcomes returned to um, good function three months after the stroke was doubled. Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center has long been a pioneer in the use of clot dissolving drugs like TPA and the development of clot retrieval technology. The solitaire device, Dr. Saver says, is a game changer as long as patients can get to a stroke center like UCLA in time. It's very important for everyone to be aware of the signs that you may be having a stroke and uh, the key ones are captured in the FAST, F-A-S-T acronym, face weakness, arm weakness, speech problems. If you have any of those, then it's tea time to call 911. Call 911 and get to the hospital right away. Now with the solitaire, we have the ability to help you in a way we never could before, but only if you get to the hospital quickly. Ed was not a candidate for the clot dissolving drug TPA because of other medications he was taking. The solitaire procedure may indeed have saved his life. He's been great. Within like tw less than 24 hours, he was moving all of his extremities and, and you know, answering commands. He was still innovated, but um, he, they were amazed that he could do that so soon. My hope is to get back to normal or somewhat of normalcy. This is the best place to come. He, uh, as a result, made an amazing recovery. This is a type of uh, stroke that is almost invariably fatal, and instead, with the artery open, he was able to have an excellent recovery.